garden. We're here near the end of April in the northwest hills of Connecticut, and uh, I have a project to beef up the perennial border. One thing that we need to keep in mind with a perennial border is that there's not one single perennial that will take us all the way from spring all the way into fall. We have to have a succession of perennials that bloom. So um, during the season, I evaluate the perennial border. It's, it's a changing thing. It's not static. We move things around. We beef up some areas. We dig and divide. And it's, it's evolving. So during the season, I'm on that lookout for where can I get some more color? Where can I have some more flowers? So this is one of the spots I identified uh, in the fall. And now that it's spring, I'm going to be putting these um, agassiz in here. So uh, this is Blue Fortune. It will bloom from in June all the way through to frost. So it's a really great um, perennial to have in the garden. And I had some uh, over here. Uh, you see it's just starting to come back. The stuff that we got from the nursery is ahead of it. And I just want to expand this border of uh, the agastache. And then I'm also going to put some further down so we have this a punctuation that we say we carry forward the color from one spot in the garden to the other. So it's quite easy. Just keep in mind that when you have nursery stock like this, you squeeze the pot a little bit and you can see it's pretty well pot bound because this was in the greenhouse. And we want to just take our felcos here and score the surface. You have to break up the roof wall. You just can't put it into the ground without doing this. And uh, if it's really tight, you may have to cut through it. And then it's just identifying the right depth. I have these spaced out as they should be, about a foot apart. And then we just uh, evaluate the depth. And in we go. Just pack it in. And then we'll water that in and we're done. So there's just some things to keep in mind in the spring. So thank you for watching Bob's Garden. Please share, comment, and subscribe my videos, and we'll see you next time. Remember, be curious, not judgmental.